Hello, welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be covering the uh, sweep tool in uh, FreeCAD and that's part of the part, part workbench and you can see some examples I've left up here. These, these are what, are we going to be, what we're going to be drawing. Now even though we're going to be doing three different approaches to the sweep tool, it's, they're all going to be swept, if you, if you will, with this, the utility in the part design workbench. But what I'm going to show you is how you can arrive at these different shapes. And whether you're in dra draft, uh, sketcher, or if you want to do custom uh, primitives. So to start out, we're going to start out with the sketcher one, which is this one. So what I'll do is I'll just going to, I'm just going to start a new document and, um, and work from there. So we'll have that old one sitting there to look back at and kind of do the same thing. So f the first thing we need to do is just some of this... Uh, regular sort of housekeeping, a body and a sketch. I'm gonna stick that in the XY plane. And what I'm gonna do is just create a circle at the origin here. And close that. I'm not gonna worry about making everything um, con fully constrained or anything. That's, that's not really important from my point of view. So to do, to do my path, I'm gonna put that on the YZ plane in this case. Um, and the reason is I just, I want it to move away from this circle uh, vertically or um, perpendicularly from the, the plane of the circle. So I'm just gonna make a um, sort of a bridge shape, okay? And what you don't wanna do is, when, if you're doing a path, if it's too, if the angle is too acute, um, it's not gonna be able to sweep it. So your paths, I don't know what the limit is, that'd be something good to know, I guess, um, but, uh, but you can't, um, if otherwise what will happen is the, the resulting shape will fold back over on itself and FreeCAD does not like that. Um, so, what, so I have my, my sketch and my path. So what I'm gonna do is select the, the sketch that I want to be swept and then we're gonna go into the sweep tool. We're gonna go, we're not gonna use this one. Um, and the reason is, is this, offers more options, but in this, in my version of FreeCAD, it crashes because I'm using the dev version. I might try to do another video that has the stable version and show that tool, but for now, we're just gonna do the part design sweep and show you some of the differences there. So I'm just gonna select the utility to sweep. And what you're gonna have is uh, the item that you are sweeping. So in this case, that's the circle. And then you gotta pick the path that it's gonna be swept along. So you click sweep path and I clicked all of all of them. So it goes, I, I think it will only um, sweep along what you select. I'm not sure of that. So when you click done, nothing steam, seems to happen. It doesn't actually take effect until you click okay. And then you'll see that, then the, you'll see the path has been swept, uh, has been completed. And what you'll note by default, you'll notice the ends are open. Okay, now I could have changed that in the wizard, but you can also change that right here. So you can make that a solid right here. Okay, and then you'll see that the ends are closed now. You can also change the types of how it transitions. You can do a rounded corner or you can just, and you see now it's a rounded corner. Okay, so let's go back and look at our other one and so you can see how that accomplished the middle on their different radius, but that's okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move over to uh, this sweep. So th this object was cre created in the, in the draft workbench and, and s swept with the part sweep as well. So let's move over to the draft workbench. Let's get in the right document. Uh, sorry, I did a little misclick on GNU right there. So let's move, uh, like I said, over to the draft workbench. And I'm going to start out by, by placing a circle on my draft grid. And it really doesn't matter where. Oh, actually, let's hold on a second. Let's make sure we're going from the working plane from the top. Um, I get funny results if I don't pick that specifically. And it's probably I don't understand it, but um, so I just make sure I pick it. So that's, that's what I'm going to be sweeping in this case. Um, and then what I'm going to do is move to the front or the side. Nope. Let's move. Let's move. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I want to move to the side. And this is a neat um, 
the thing about in the draft mode is I so what I'll do is I'll, I'm gonna put a similar shape uh, underneath this and you and you'll say you might be saying to yourself gee that's not gonna work because it's not anywhere near it um, but what the sweep in the draft mode allows you to do it allows you to use any profile and applies that profile to the to the item being swept and let's show you that so it makes sense um, so we're gonna do this sweep tool here and the circle is what we're sweeping and the sweep path is this D wire and I'm holding the control key down as I click this oh I'm sorry I didn't put my key tool on hold on okay so now I have my key tool on so my circle is what I'm sweeping and this is my sweep path that I selected now I'm gonna click done to lock that in and you'll see that it's locked in there's the only indicator that it's locked in is that it moves back to a selectable so then I'm gonna click OK and FreeCAD is gonna work a little bit on that and when it comes back you'll see oops okay so what happened was I did a double click at the end there so it didn't know what to do with this because there's an extra little piece at the end so you can see um, how it used this path to shape the sweep and you'll notice the dimensions are looks like the inner radius and then it does some some stuff there the other neat thing about that is that you can also you can still edit this so you can change sorry and you can change the um the d wire i'm doing something wrong oh there it goes and it and freecad will update the sweep so it did a better job even though i got a little overlap there um, and again the same thing is true with the uh with the ends so let's go look at that sweep so it's the same sweep ends same uh, dialogue as with before even though it's um a draft object okay so the final thing we're going to do is um so anything you, so any uh, 2d shape you can draft you can sweep um, so the final one I'm going to do is a um, is a custom shape. So let's go back to uh, let's go to draft and go to top. I think it would shift. I think it will switch anyway. But and now we're going to go to um, part and we're going to pick create your create a custom geometric pr primitive. I think that's called yeah creation a oh, parameterized geometric primitive. So you can create any primitive by selecting here, and these are the available primitives. Um, and you know these are pretty. This is pretty uh, pretty advanced. Um, if you've ever worked in FreeCAD, try to do you know a uh, a wedge or a helix. It can be annoying. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a regular po polygon for the shape of the example, and uh, just create. And you'll see that it just um, the thing is with the geometric primitive primitives, I don't I couldn't get the location to work on this. That could again that could be me, but in, no biggie. Um, just transform it to where you want it. So I'm just going to slide that over there. Um, and you could also you could also change its where it is with the position dialog here. So you see how that's easy enough to move. So it's no biggie. Um, so this one I'm gonna sweep, and the neat thing is I'm gonna use this path that I created before, and so um, you can create, you can see the, the utility in that. That once you've got a path that um, meets your criteria, you can you can map multiple objects to it. So the regular polygon is what I'm gonna be sweeping, and the sweep path is this D wire. I guess that stands for draft wire. Um, I'm going to click done and OK. And there you have it. I have my regular polygon swept just like the, the other one. OK, so that's that's how you use the sweep tool in draft, uh, sketcher and custom shapes. Custom GM parametrized <laughs> primitives. OK, well, thank you. And I hope you're enjoying my channel. I hope to get better and better and do more and more. And uh, if you like it, subscribe. You know, also uh, please share with your friends so they can learn this awesome program, FreeCAD. 
and take a look at some of my other videos. I have OpenSCAD and some general computing, and uh, I hope to grow my library over the year. Uh, thanks again. Have a great day.